Good morning, folks. Earth keeps getting lucky. The Earth-facing solar quiet anomaly that has been prominent since late 2011 continues to allow eruptions to prefer non-Earth-facing positions. Another filament shows why they must be closely monitored. The sun was relatively calm again over the last day, but a thin plasma filament directly faces Earth in front of a larger coronal hole dark patch, and our eyes are on it. The solar flaring remains incredibly low. Perhaps the best example of an Earth-facing solar quiet effect is the massive sunspot begins to depart bottom right, having given us the silent treatment following high activity before it faced Earth. Looking at the solar wind, we see yellow speed dropping with a denser accumulation of particles in the slower stream at the orange line. Lower speed means no geomagnetic problems, but the higher proton density put the electrons on their backside this morning. And that coronal hole I mentioned is transequatorial and has a northern partner. Veteran observers know this as the mid-watch quake lull, with a second earthquake peak expected tomorrow night. Top news in space is that 67P let out a scream. Just days away from perihelion, the comet has let Rosetta see a jet form and then quickly fade. Perihelion is Thursday, so more could be coming. The organic material content was unbelievable in the jet, but oddly there wasn't much water that came from inside there. Some other strange observations make this a deeper look candidate for sure. Hopefully we do see more. Also got an article on why Pluto may be geologically active, which is incredible. Top article about Earth contains a great video of the super typhoon's rain rage across Taiwan and China. It is linked for you below. The top article about science comes as acid can be levitated with electricity, and it happens to float on blue plasmic light. Sound familiar to any UFO enthusiasts? You might remember a few days ago, I completely replaced the current conditions with shots of a storm off the Chilean coastline. I don't just do things for no reason. It caused such chaos that we are just now getting the information about what happened. Three years of rain fell in 12 hours, and in that part of the world, that's catastrophic. Not supposed to be possible, and they had very little warning too. It was unexpected. Forecasters are actually not sure where this tropical system is going to hit, but it's going to be a pain for the islands, that much is certain. Featured today, folks, if you haven't seen the free material on the homepage of suspiciousobservers.org, it is a good spread of our covered topics, and I guarantee something on that page will pique your interest. Website members, in Yelverton's lab, Billy was energized by our recent sound and electricity discussion on Fly on the Wall, and he's been having some fun. Got the precipitable water helping me illuminate the top alerts in our viewer locations, followed by the current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.